Hi guys, Drone Emotion here and today we're back here once again with a brand new video and with some very very exciting footage from all of you and that is because we have our first look at the DJI Mavic 3 in hand and that is because a video has been leaked of the Mavic 3 actual retail box of someone actually having it and in today's video we're going to be sharing with you all that information that you need to know that footage and also have some brand new images of the actual Mavic 3 in hand of its actual case that's going to be included and everything that's going to be coming inside into this video we're going to be sharing also that with you it's going to be one that you're not going to want to miss out on but before we get started if you're new to the channel welcome here and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with any updates and leaks of the Mavic 3 guys you know this is the place to come for all that information and also if you're interested in the Mini 3 in the Alta Libo Lite or the Evo 3 guys this is also a place to come for all that information and leaks you know you can rely on us and also we're currently in the road to 10,000 subscribers and right now we're less than 3,000 subscribers away so if you're watching today's video and you're not subscribed yet well I invite you to go ahead and join the Drone Emotion family so you can help us get reach that goal which we're really not that far away from. So with that being said, why don't we just go ahead and get it started with today's video which is going to be a very exciting one. Well, yesterday, you might remember you watched yesterday's video. Well, we talked and shared with you the latest image that we had received of the Mavic 3 of it flying on its launch pad and in a desk and those images were really good, they were real high quality but what we have today is an image of the actual retail box of the Mavic 3 and of someone that actually has it in hand and it's an actual video so without any much further ado why don't we just go ahead and take a look at this new DJI Mavic 3 right here on the screen guys So there we had that video. What do you think? Without a doubt, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Now we learn a couple of things from this box. From this box, the first thing that we see is the name branding. A lot of people were concerned that DJ was going to be dropping the Mavic name, but no, this drone will still be called the DJ Mavic 3. There's no need to worry about the Mavic name dropping now there are also a, a couple other things that we learn from this box and that is the fact that on the top left hand corner we can see that it says ATSB included so that means that we're going to be having the same technology we've been seeing since the Mavic Air 2 ATSB is going to be included and that's really really good and it's a nice safety feature to have included now aside from that we see the classical digital style boxing that white with the drone in the middle, I think it looks real good. And also one other thing that we can note is the shape and design of the drone. Now we've seen the specs and some renders of the drone and it and pictures of the drone folded, but we have not seen till today a front view of the actual Mavic 3 unfolded. And what we have right here is something very interesting and that is because we have a brand new shape for those arms. They look very, very good. In fact, According to our good friend Osita LB, she actually mentions that these are brand new patent from DJI and what these are going to be doing is that they're going to be specialized arms for our quadcopters and they are going to optimize our dynamic design so that they can provide more lift force during the flight like a fixed wing. Therefore, it can make the Mavic 3 flight much longer and we've been seeing this technology since the FPV drone. Now, what will the flight time be for this new Mavic 3? Well, it will be 46 minutes that's how much this Mavic 3 is going to be able to fly so with that that is very very impressive obviously in real world scenario you can expect between I will say 36 to 40 minutes of flight time of real flying time now other thing that we can note is the fact that this looks actually kind of similar to what we have right here with Inspire 2 like from from the front view it actually looks kind of like an inspired 2 and that is because we can see the arms and the body of the drone actually a bit elevated and i think that the design looks very sporty very aerodynamic and i think this is definitely going to be a very fast drone well we're still to receive the confirmation if this mavic 3 is going to be compatible with the fpv 
B2 goggles. I think that will be definitely a real nice combination. And I, and I know that a lot of people out there and pilots are also waiting to see that included, but hopefully we, we should be getting that. Now, we have new images that have just been leaked of the Mavic 3. Thanks to a great friend, Dill has drawn in Twitter. He's a very reliable source and he has some brand new images for us of the actual Mavic 3 in hand. So let's go ahead and kick things off with a view of the Mavic 3 and of its carrying case that's going to be included. So let's go ahead and take a look right here on the screen. So that was, that was our first image of the Mavic 3. Now on the top of the image we can see the Mavic 3 We've talked about the Mavic 3 in the past video that we can see our orange the props which are going to be low noise propellers. Additional to that, we see our type C cable and that is because in the back, and that is because this drone is going to support charging from the back, just like what we had with the Spark drone back about four years ago. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our carrying case. There we have it, and it actually looks kind of similar to what we had with the DJI Air 2 So it's a pretty similar bag. I think it works and still it's a pretty compact case. So that means this is not going to be taking a lot of space. Now, we have some other images of the Mavic 3. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. There we have them. That is the full Mavic 3, a more close-up high definition image. There we have it. And without a doubt, the color looks quite good. Something that is interesting is the fact that at the rear quarter panel of the drone, the last section where, where we have those corner and upward obstacle appearance, it looks like that color of the of the drone is a bit darker. It looks like a more darker gray than what we have on the front facing of the drone. So that it's quite interesting to note. Once again, we have the, our Type-C cable charging. Now, there we have another B of the Mavic 3. There's our camera, which by the way, it's going to be having a 5.2K resolution and it's going to be able to shoot 20 megapixel images. Now, it is actually very surprising that the Mavic 3 is actually going to be having a lower resolution that what we have with the DJI Air 2, which is a 5.4K resolution. So that, that's a bit surprising to me because we know that Mavic 3 is the flagship drone of DJI and it's quite strange for me to see such a lower resolution in a drone this caliber. Now, let's go ahead and talk about sensor size. Well, we have a dual setup camera made by Hasselblad. In the top, we have a half inch sensor, which is going to be our telephoto. It's going to have a fixed aperture, unfortunately, but our our camera on the bottom, that's going to be our main wide angle view camera that is not going to be having a fixed aperture. In fact, that is a micro four thirds sensor camera, which is definitely very impressive. And that one is going to be having an, a variable aperture. It's going to be ranging from f2.8 all the way to f11. And the, there we can see our field of view is going to be 84 degrees. Now, our focus is going to go from one meter up to infinity and the picture quality for the bottom camera is going to be 20 megapixel and for the telephoto camera is going to be 12 megapixel and well what about zoom features well this drone is definitely going to be having zoom features in fact it's going to be having a 7x optical zoom and a 28x hybrid zoom and i'm definitely impressed by the fact that we're going to be having such a powerful zoom with this drone. Let's go ahead now and take a look at our last image of the Mavic 3 and its case. Now, there we have the smart controller. Now, this is going to be actually called the DJI RC Pro. It, I don't know why DJI has decided to do that, but there we have the smart controller too. Now, will there be any physical changes? Unfortunately not. The same size screen is going to be preserved. There we can see our antennas and the back part of the controller. So, unfortunately, there is not a big redesign for the for the new DJI RC Pro, which is the smart controller too. The only thing that's going to be changing are the internals of the drone. Now, there are going to be two different controller choices that we can choose from. And that is because in our next video, we're going to be talking about all of the combos that are going to be available. But just to give you a quick preview, there are going to be three combos. The first one is going to be the most basic and cheapest one. And that is the box that we just shared with you at the beginning of that video. So that box belongs to the basic model. Then we're gonna be having a second combo, and then the third one is going to be the one which is going to be including the RC Pro. So in our, in our next video, we're going to be going more in depth and talking about everything that's going to be included for that 
for all of those combos so stay tuned for that video make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on that video as soon as it goes live here in the channel that is everything that we have so far till today as soon as we have any more information you know you're gonna be receiving it in this channel first thanks so much for watching and see you tomorrow with a brand new video this is drone emotion signing out